Welcome to WCSU Library Tutorials. In this video, you'll learn how to choose a topic for a research paper. The first thing that you should do is make sure that you understand the assignment. For instance, the professor may specify the number of pages the paper should contain, as well as the number and types of sources that you should include. The professor may also specify a broad topic from which you need to develop your specific topic. Remember that the required length of the paper will have a direct impact on the topic you choose. All of this is important information to consider when choosing your topic. Once clear on the assignment, be sure to choose a topic that interests you. It's no fun spending time researching something that you don't really have an interest in. Begin by thinking about where you might find information on this topic. For instance, choosing a topic that is very current might not yield enough material. On the other hand, too broad of a topic will yield too much information. A helpful starting point for narrowing down a broad subject is the database Credo, located in our databases. Try using Credo's mind map to break a topic down into smaller, related topics. To learn more about using Credo for research, check out this video. Now it's time to match your topic with the length and scope of the paper that you need to write. In general, a five-page paper is not the time to go broad with your topic. Let's take an example. The topic assigned to you is the ancient Roman Empire, and the required length of the paper is five pages. This is a broad topic that requires narrowing. To do so, try looking at something within the Roman Empire that interests you. For example, you could write a paper that focuses on the ancient Roman baths and the innovative plumbing they required, along with their role in Roman society. This is a narrow topic specific to a broader topic that'll work for your paper. But now suppose that your topic is too narrow. Try out different ways that you could broaden it. It could be broadened by adding a geographic area to the topic, or by creating a broader context through a more detailed historical background, or even by expanding the depth of information that you want to cover. You might have to try out a few different methods before you're able to broaden your topic in the way that you need for your paper. Let's go back to our example on the Roman baths. Now the paper requirement is 10 pages, and your previous area of focus is too narrow. You could expand the topic by exploring the bath's reliance on aqueducts, and the unique architecture and engineering Romans developed to build those. You could also explore the similarity of Roman baths to various health clubs today. Just remember, the topic that you begin your research with might not be the exact one you finish your paper with. You will constantly narrow, broaden, and adjust your topic as you research and you write your paper. Once you've figured out your topic, check out our video, Identifying Main Concepts. It will show you how to go about developing search terms from your topic that can be applied to a database search. In the meantime, if you still need help choosing a topic, you can always talk to your professor or to a librarian. Thanks for watching this video! For more information on conducting research, make sure to check out our website as well as our YouTube page for more tutorials.